What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. We're back on the Isle of Sipta for another episode of this Let's Play. You'll probably notice that I do have earrings now. That's because I've made the aspect of the demon. And this actually gave me double the amount of armor that I had just by putting this single piece on so that's really good i also equipped it with the armor reduction kit that way it doesn't weigh an absolute ton it still weighs quite a bit at 22.80 but it's worth it for the amount of armor that it gives me I do have another horse, it's named Crystal Light, maybe because it's not named after an alcohol, this one will actually live, probably more so going to live because I actually put food in its inventory this time, so I'm going to try to remember to do that. And we're going to grab our Stygian Fighter. Here's what's in store for this episode. I need to run over here and get the armor piece. I also want to go up here and get an armor piece and kill the boss that's up here for the really good wraps. I have made the move to the concentrated aloe. That way I have better healing. And that's about it. Let's get into this episode. A couple of final things here. I did make the great sword of the outer dark for our fighter. That way he's not continuously kicking. This is also going to apply sunder every time he hits so i think that's going to be a good addition i also made myself the dragon bone katana and we're ready to go so it's actually decently chilly here in social hopefully that doesn't create any issues with me being in here i'm hoping i don't take damage from the cold but i guess we'll see just how cold it gets all right and there's the boss that we're looking for i'll show you guys where we're at on the map exactly we are right here that's going to be 10 c and we're going to go in and we'll attack his adds first because I don't want to have to deal with them and him. He should stagger quite a bit as well. So this boss really is a lot easier to kill than the one that you would find on the Exiled Lands. He's just takes tons of stagger. If you notice him, stop staggering like that. Just give him a second and then go back in and you can stagger him again. So it actually got decently dark for that fight. So I'm going to cut that out and I'm just going to come back and fight him again. But let's look at what he actually dropped for us. So we have the razor sharp axe, 57 and zero, a fragment of power, some glass and some other junk. We'll go ahead and drop the junk there. You do want to make sure that you harvest this guy's body with a pick or a pickaxe. That way you can get the skeleton key. But the more important thing is the infused wraps that we get from him. And you can see we got 15. So that's going to be a lot better healing than the rough wraps. So we're just going to drop those on the ground at this point. And we have the really good wraps. I will come back and fight him again in the daylight. That way you guys can see that entire fight. There's also some chests up here. You can see this one's full of gold. This one's got gold and silver. So grab those while you're up here. So we've made it to the vault that I want to visit. This is one of the Serpent Men vaults. And it's going to give me the recipe for the boots that I want. So this is Sanctuary of the Serpent. We'll go ahead and do this vault. So there's an insignia right over here before you go in the area. And here we go.
All right, so another vault completed. We do want to make sure we interact with these pedestals. So that gives us the serpent vault armors and the armory. And then let's grab everything out of there, everything out of there, and everything out of there. And then we'll just use this. Let's look at what the info on it is. This one helps us not get poisoned, so it removes poison from the blood on a regular basis. So we'll go ahead and use that. I did break two pieces of armor, but that's okay. I should be able to skin something here coming up and repair that armor. Not a big deal. We'll go ahead and throw the war paint of the serpent on. And I think the rest of this stuff like this and this and this, I'm just going to toss. We'll keep most of the rest of that should be perfectly fine to hold on to. I may look at, what are these daggers? 37, 17, 49, and 18. These are getting pretty close to breaking, so I may may end up using those. And I actually had a lot of fun using the Serpent Man Javelin. Thought that was kind of a cool way to go in and use their own drops against them. We got 55 Decaying Eldarium out of this run, which is a good run. And... Yeah, I think we did all right. So hopefully that'll give us enough to make the boots because the boots are going to give us a ton of extra carry weight. All right, we're out of the vault. So we need to find something that's going to drop regular hide out here. And I'm pretty sure there are things out here that'll do that. I'm just trying to think of what it might be. Maybe one of the birds might do it the crocodiles definitely are not gonna do it not entirely sure what he's fighting something something invisible over here or something under the ground oh yeah it was a bird let's grab our skinning knife just swap it out for the cleaver there and will we get any regular hide no just feathers from the bird so that's kind of a bummer we'll just have to keep an eye out for something that's going to drop regular hide okay so i didn't have any luck finding any deer out there i do think that there's a guy actually right up here he's one of the bosses that if i skin him he'll actually drop what i'm looking for so we'll head off and check with him he's also going to drop some other items that uh you may want to go and get so i'll show you guys where he's at on the map and then you'll know how to get to him and if you want to go fight him it's that guy right there and i'm thinking he's going to skin for regular hide so this is where we're at on the map right here and i forget what this guy's name is but he will drop the has the chance to drop the mask of the witch doctor so or the witch doctor's mask anything that the witch doctor would drop on the exiled lands mask he has the chance of dropping and he's not real difficult to beat yeah you like just going in circles don't you there buddy good job All right, so he didn't drop the Mask of the Witch Doctor. He did drop the Powder of Corruption, which currently isn't usable in the game, but we'll grab all of that, and then let's skin him up. See if we get regular hide from him, I'm hoping. No, just demon blood? Just demon blood. Okay, well, that's kind of a bummer. Nothing in here to give us the hide that we want for <laughs> repairing the armor. So let's go back up. Let's see if the other boss is spawned back in whether it's been enough time i think it probably has and we'll defeat him on our way out and then we're going for the other piece of armor that i want for my full armor set the last thing i need is actually going to be in the jill's roost or whatever the the vault is called the vault of jill uh that's the last piece of armor that i want for my final armor setup so maybe we'll get into that this episode maybe not we'll see how i'm looking on time and if i feel like i can pack it all into one episode 
And if you guys are wondering why I try to get behind all the enemies, it's because I do more damage when I'm behind them than I do when I'm in front of them. So always kind of trying to get the backside that way I can do the most possible damage to them with this setup. All right, let's see. He has respawned. That's good. All right, let's heal up real quick. That way we go in with some decent health, especially since I've lost a lot of armor reduction from those pieces being broken. So we'll get healed up before we go in there. And actually, I think I'll try to send my thrall in there. Let's see. Can you go in there? Can you go right there? All right. So we'll start like that. I'm going to go and attack this guy who decided he wanted to try to run away. Didn't, didn't make it very far. There we go. That guy's gone. Don't attack the horse, bro. And out of stamina. Almost got blocked there by the thrall and the boss. That would not have been fun. And I think he's totally busted at this point in time. He's just kind of kind of stuck up there. There we go. Back down. So, pretty easy fight. He staggers staggers pretty hardcore, and I'm just going after him. You might want to try a little bit more not to take hits from him, but He's an easy enough fight. You could defeat him pretty early on. And three hit points left. We'll just end it. End it. All right, so we got another razor sharp axe. I think he drops that on a pretty regular basis. And we also got a legendary armor patch kit, so that's good. We are going to hit him with our pick again. So let's grab that off the horse. And big run of infused wraps that time. Look how many more infused wraps we got that time than the first time. That's going to make a huge difference. So I recommend coming down and fighting him on a regular basis. Okay, so reaching the Isle of Dusk. I don't really care about this first camp here. There's a camp right here. That's what we're coming up to right now. I'm just going to run through it and get over to this camp because this that's where I need to be for the armor recipe that I want. That's going to give me the Black Corsair Garb. And like I said, there's really no reason to muck around in this first camp unless I see something like a named Thrall, which may or may not happen. There's a level one bearer. Yeah, so just not real excited about Shippo's Shipyard right now and no real need to stop off there. I will hold up as I get towards this other camp because the last thing I want to do is bring a bunch of enemies to it so the other nice thing about grabbing the 
javelin here is that I can have another one-handed weapon since I didn't leave camp with a one-handed weapon. Yeah, and exactly what I was worried about happening has just happened. We have absolute ton of enemies from that camp. It kind of seems like they're fighting each other. Oh, well, that's because this guy was left somewhere guarding. Okay, well, isn't that exciting? All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and grab the skulls from both of these guys. That way we could trade them in, and we'll take the bearer pack as well. There we go. What do we got going on over here? Okay. I don't know who or why Oyvind's just standing right here, but he is, and uh, yeah, good for him. Okay, so we are going to make our way into this camp. We could just run up and get it, but I don't really want to just run up and get it. So we've got a level 3 cook and a level 3 fighter. Ouchie, buddy. Ouchie. I'll tell you this, though. One thing about the javelin is it misses a lot. If you don't have targets selected, you're just going to miss all over the place. So if you're going to use a javelin, I recommend target lock with it. All right. We've got more stuff coming. This is the spit. This is exactly where we want to be I'm trying to see where ah there we go couldn't even see him and we've got a dancer Ooh, ain't you sexy I won't dance that guy over there will dance but I'm not dancing there goes the jailer like I said just missing all over the place target lock is really important let's grab the jailer key even though i never seem to use them i've got that's the third one i have on me and still haven't used any of them we will be coming up to a boss here so definitely going to dispatch these guys quickly and there's the boss she came down anyway Nope, I don't want to take a bunch of hits from you, lady. Oh my gosh, that's turn around. Really? Okay, I'm going to hit a potion. That's the first one I've hit. Whatever. I need some stamina. Dude, stamina. Come on, stamina! Okay, Thrall's actually got some hits in on her. And there we go. Oh, see, even with even with having target lock on, totally missed that jump shot. There we go. All right, she's dead. She did drop some of the garb as well. So let's open up her inventory. You can see Black Corsair. That's a different set of Black Corsair. We have Big Purse and Black Yeti. So we're going to grab all of that. It's likely to encumber us. It did... And it's going to be mainly just that Yeti protector. So where's my horse? Way over there. Thrall's up there doing something. Horse is just taking shots. All right, so let's do this. We'll swap that with that. And still over encumbered. So what else is super heavy let's go like that maybe still encumbered there we go now I really don't care what Thrall's doing up there I don't need to do anything else in this area except for not get stuck in that trap right there and interact with this book that's going to give me the black Corsair outfit that's what I came up here for 
You can see there's some decent stuff in here. I'm actually going to grab those. And let's see about that one. Not worried about it. What's in this one? I suppose I could just grab and use that. I mean, why not? We'll go ahead. I don't want to get too close to that because... Oh my goodness, Thrall. Dummy. Alright. We're going to head back to the base and get all squared away there. Hopefully make the armor. And then I think next episode we'll go after the final piece of armor, which is going to be in Jill's vault. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen, click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.